The Harris team now has some concern. Is this right about her height? What, what's going on? Yeah, you did read that right, Laura. You know, the vice president's team has been doing a couple things to position her well tonight. For one, they got her a shorter podium. So at five foot four, she looks even on the TV split screen with Trump, who is six foot three. Muted microphones and policy notes are some of the conditions Donald Trump and Kamala Harris have fought over before they'd agreed to debate. Our Washington correspondent Annalise Nielsen explains the rules for today's presidential election debate. Since 1987, the Nonpartisan Commission on Presidential Debates decided how and when these campaign debates took place. But Donald Trump's third run for the White House has been nothing short of unusual. And even before Joe Biden dropped out, there was no agreement between the two campaigns on participating in these debates as normally organized by the Commission. So instead, the two campaigns have been negotiating their own debates. And that's exactly what we're seeing now. Come Kamala Harris and Donald Trump have agreed to debate for potentially the only time in this election in the ABC America presidential debate. Here are some of the rules that both campaigns agreed to, so this could happen. There will be no opening statements by either candidate. Closing statements will be limited to two minutes per candidate. The candidates will stand behind podiums for the duration of the debate. Neither is allowed props or pre-written notes on stage. Candidates will be given a pen, a pad of paper and a bottle of water. Candidates' microphones will be live only for the candidate whose turn it is to speak and muted when the time belongs to the other candidate. The candidates will not be permitted to ask questions of each other. Campaign staff are also not allowed to interact with their candidates during commercial breaks. There will be no audience in the room. No topics or questions will be shared in advance with either campaign or candidates. And candidates will have two-minute answers to questions allowed, two-minute rebuttals, and one extra minute for follow-ups, clarifications, or responses. A virtual coin toss was held to decide which candidate would be allowed to speak last and which would get to choose the podium. Donald Trump won the coin toss, and so he decided he would like to speak last. That left Kamala Harris to pick which podium she wanted to stand at, and she picked the right podium standing at stage left. Annalise Nielsen for Sky News in Pennsylvania. And the countdown is now in its final hours, folks, as you can see from the ticker there in the bottom left-hand corner of your screen. That first presidential debate between Kamala Harris and Donald Trump. It is live today, 11 a.m., right here on Sky News.